Hey, Wesley, uh, I guess first got to talk about Taylor Horton Tucker, the big shot he made tonight, and the fact he scored eight points in overtime. What do you think of that young kid? Uh, he's fearless. He's fearless. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's, he's one of those kids that he just goes and gets, you know, um, he, he's talented beyond his years and, uh, you know, went through a little bit of some turnovers um, in crunch situations, but he didn't let it get to him. Um, Coaching staff encouragement, team encouragement, and you know he delivered. He was he was big time for us tonight, especially with AC uh, going down. And Wesley, we got to talk about the play you made at the end of regulation, getting that offensive rebound and putting it back. What did you see from your vantage point? And you're not really necessarily known as an offensive rebounder. Um, I, I'm gonna go get it. You know, hit the game on the line. Uh, you know, there's no point in me being back there uh, behind the three point line. You know, I'm, I'll mix it up with anybody. And, um, you know, first when I saw Kenny shoot it, uh, KCP shoot in the corner, I was hoping it was going to drop. Um, <laughs> but then uh, right place, right time, was able to make a play and uh, keep us alive. And you did have three offensive rebounds, by the way. I don't mean to shore you on that. Uh, how important is it? <laughs> how, how important was it for you guys to win this game, just to kind of keep in pace with Portland and Dallas? I mean, we're trying to win the game for ourselves. You know, whatever happens at the end of this, uh, at the end of these next however many games is what's going to happen. Um, for us, it's just about building habits, um, building a winning culture, um, or continuing on a winning culture and, and finding ways to win shorthanded, um, next man up, whatever you want to throw at us. You know, it's it's go time um, in these next couple of days, next couple of weeks uh, as far as playoffs. So, you know, as far as catching anybody, we're just worried about ourselves. Dan Winky. Hey, Wes, I have a couple for you. Um, what was it like playing um, big chunks of this game without a point guard, really? Um, and and kind of how did you guys navigate that? And, and sort of at, at this point, um, what's a challenge that I mean, you guys have to feel like you've had just about everything thrown at you um, this season? <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, is, is there confidence in that? I guess knowing that, you know, the postseason is going to start here pretty soon and, and that's when it's really going to get tense. Um, well, to answer your first question, the challenge is playing without a point guard. It's less than ideal, um, that's for sure. But as far as what you said at the end about confidence, is that, and that's what it is, you know, you don't get confidence by, for us, um, you don't get confidence by playing hard and, and, and losing and coming up short. You know, we did that too many times so far this season, and it feels good to not – you don't want to be a man down, two men down, three men down, and have to deal with all the things that we've had to deal with this season. But in order, but for us to find ways to win um, like we have as of late, you know, that's encouraging, and that's the confidence that's going to grow so that when we are full strength, you know, we just got that continuity. And above anything else, we got that must-win uh, killer mentality. How good. Hey, Wes. Um, you know, you guys had that loss to Toronto just over a week ago, and it seemed like there was a lot of frustration from the guys we were able to talk to. Um, since then, uh, I believe what you guys have won uh, three big games, three and two, first first back to back wins since March. What what changed? Was there anything that players talked among themselves about? To, to kind of change the direction there? Uh, I think maybe the focus is getting a little bit better, attention to detail. Um, the defensive side of the ball is, is starting to pick back up um, and it's starting to fuel our offense. Obviously, we, we, we've been down under man at the point guard position, so everybody's been having to get involved um, and everybody has been having to pull their weight on, on both ends of the court. Um, we haven't been comfortable by any means, so we were able to find comfort within uh, – uncomfortable situation and then on top of that get big wins quality wins against good teams you know that's that's a confidence builder so that you know like I said like I said earlier um, when we get back to full strength um, we we know nothing but winning all right we've got time for two more let's go to Dave McMenamin Wesley as you look at, ahead to these final three games uh, is there something that you feel like you have figured out in this three and two stretch that you're like, if we do X, X and X, we will put ourselves in the best position to um, avoid the plan. We got to stay together, stay together and defend. Um, offense will, will take care of itself. Um, obviously we got AD. Um, um, we'll get Brown back at some point. 
Um, guys are finding their rhythm uh, off the ball. Um, high lows, we're, we're, we're playing a little bit different. We're showing a little bit more versatility, but it's going to be defending. It's going to be rebounding, and it's just going to be uh, that toughness and will to win. And last question, please, Amanda Scurlock. Hey, can you tell me a bit about the newer players um, like Ben McMore and um, Anthony Drummond, uh, Andrew Drummond, like how have they been kind of getting uh, acclimated to the system and um, excelling? Um, by being thrown in the fire, honestly. Uh, <laughs> It's been on the job training for almost everybody in this organization this season. Uh, and so in that sense, we're kind of all in it together. Um, you know, Ben is Ben is a tremendous shooter. Um, and, and Drum is is a unique talent who, who can do a lot of things on the defensive end and, and cause havoc on the offensive end. Um, and so, you know, having those guys just kind of learn our system as, as we learn them and, and put wins together at the same time. Uh, just continuing to build chemistry and continue to make us uh, a dangerous, dangerous team.